Hi, let's see what to do if we have in mind this time learning about MPLAB X and XEA the compiler and running Proteus so that a circuit like this can be executed and solved in Proteus, okay? So the idea now is to take any example from the web and, you know, go straight to the development of the circuit and the source file so we can compile and simulate the circuit. Just that. Okay, let's see what to do to start a new project using the new tools from Microchip. Okay, and this is uh, chapter 3, microcontrollers. So this time uh, you go straight to P9 and here you have examples of chips to design as usual, specifications, planning, developing and testing. So let's go to the point of developing and testing to see what the clicks that you have to go through to start developing and testing. And to do that, you can use this, uh, this chip, one digit BC the other, because everything is here. Or you can go to the tutorial that is solved in this, in this session 9th of the laboratory. So you can go to the dual MOOCs for and the same idea, okay? The specifications of a chip the planning of a chip, this time using this PIC18F 4520 microcontroller, the several schematics and software organization, so you can you have time to discuss that. You have even video recordings here to go through. But in the end, there is the point where you have to develop and test. And so you are down here in the third section on developing. So you will take with you now to the folder, the hardware and the software. So let's do it. Save the link as dual MOOCs4 in the right folder, P9, okay? Save it and then do the same with the software, dual MOOCs4C, save the link as okay with the same name in the same folder so now you can forget the web for a while because you are now in your folder and so you can inspect the hardware let's check the hardware that you've been downloading from the web p9 dual MOOCs 4 okay so this is what you've got the c the source file that is the software and the hardware file that is a Proteus circuit. So if you like to inspect now the hardware, you only have to click here and Proteus will open, you see, in this Rabada environment and you see the circuit. But this time, if you click run, the circuit is not going to run correctly. You see, you have errors because what is missing in the circuit is the program file for this microprocessor. Okay, so this is what we will generate now with the new tools for compiling C programs. Okay, so let's go to the top and let's set aside for a while the hardware until we have the software available. So this is what goes next. So to run the software, you have to ask for MPLABX. Okay. And MPLAB opens and all these kind of electronic design automation tools are quite similar. They are integrated developing environments. So from the software that from the source files you get what you want, which is the executable files. In BHDL, what you got was the circuit, the synthesized circuit that you saw in RTL or technology views. This time what you will see here is nothing but, you know, the executable that has to be loaded in the microprocessor. Available, for example, for real in a demonstration board or as a simulation in Proteus. So very well, let's uh, close all the projects, okay, that you have 
in the platform so you see an empty space an empty workspace so now is your turn for what well as usual new project and a standalone project next and now let's select the family the peak 18 f 45 20 this is the chip okay this is the chip that we have in mind to use peak 18 f 45 20 you see so there are many models but you will pick up the 45 20 almost all the time so you say next now and you will pick up the compiler toolchain xc8 you say next and now you will find the right folder and the right folder is as usual p9 for example dual mux4 because this is the name of the chip and if you do that the project name is as usual dual mux4 underscore prj like this so everything is all right now you don't have to delete anything here you see the machine will generate a new project folder that is the same name but dot x capital that is what the machine will do everything related to this project will be saved in this new folder but you say now finish and in this way the machine prepares is preparing a new project for you to add files files that are existing you see you will never start a project from scratch but you will find something to copy and adapt from dixies so it's the same idea all the time you see you have the project name and here you can add hidden files other documents link a file so the source files is what you have to use now a simple source file this time because it's a very simple project you will simply add here one single file so add existing items and the existing item this time is not in the dot x but just above uh, one level up so here this is the dual mux c that we have downloaded from the web so you select it and now that's all okay this file is added to your project and now your project is basically a single file project so you can visualize this project in your environment as a text file you see this time is not bhdl anymore but c so this is the project that now has to be transferred to an executable you see using this tool build project so you click the hammer and now the machine starts working okay this way so you see the console output and the console output generates you see uh, the summary of the memory and you see the bytes used in program space and in data space you see and you know and you have here just clean and recompile anytime you like okay this way this time you have to be sure to generate the right file to load it in the proteus simulator so in this time you have to go to you know that you have to select the project okay and in file project properties you see you can change any parameter and go to the xc8 and here you have to be sure that you see you have the cough this is an option that you have to select the cough and if you do that if you apply this cough format the machine will generate a file loadable into proteus so now you clean and recompile that thing again so it doesn't matter if you do that many times you see in the end you have the file that you like which is nothing but the cough all right you have the hex and the cough so very well now 
what goes next because you already have the file that you need is to set aside you, you may set aside the software window and go back to your Proteus and here you can go to the child sheet and you can select the chip and edit the properties and now you can assign you see through the full chain you can assign distribution default production and this is the file that has been generated now you open it and that's it okay you say okay and go to the top and now you can start running the project this way so this is a simple mode okay you see you, you have the channel 2 selected so whatever you are clicking random zeros in channel 2 is copied to the output if the chip is disabled with a 1 you have 0 so that is what is the final application running and the sequence of steps that are required to start a new project in this new microprocessor environment MPLAB and run and test what you've been designing later on you will go through the new step mode you see here and you have access to everything that is of interest to debug your program for example here you have the full set of variables and the program so now you see you can run and you can go step by step and if you run if you click the source code window you click here the boot you see that goes over so this is the step over you see you have that now the program is executing the main loop this way and there is something else you see that you have the full list of variables here but only some of them are of interest so this is why you can go to the book and add the watch window you see a new window here and you can take the variables of interest the channels for example the selection and the output and you can drag them all you can so you can just watch the value like this in hex or in binary or the radix you like so you see you can select display format binary and this is what you've got okay the address is not that important so if you don't like to display the address and you can pay attention to the value that's okay so now you can rerun okay you can run that this way and if you run now you have the program running in real time you see the time goes on in real, real time so now you can enable and disable and what you see here is the value of every single variable that has been considered in this program for example the y now is one one so you see the two ladies in red and then if they go zero you see the variable goes zero zero so this is the environment in which we will develop many applications this chapter three right